Oh, motherfucker. No, I'm fine. Welcome to a video where Matt and I talk about very incredible travel stories from the past. That's it. We're gonna start talking about a death threatening experience that happened to us a couple of years ago. Three years ago? Two, three years ago. We'd been dating for, uh, how long have we been dating for then? Like maybe a year? We spoke about going to the Alps. We wanted to make it easy for ourselves on our first trip together. So we went to Oz, a ski resort near Grenoble. It looks like one of those magical villages. The way Christmas markets in every city would like to look like. Like a postcard. So we planned it all real well and flew there a few months later. I was amazed the moment I stepped into the village. Being a girl from a country of sun used to suffer my mom wanted to excessively tan in the beach while I used to melt a snow paradise wasn't really my environment and I was like it's very cold but I don't care for me not to care about cold that is like something big we would eat croissant every morning it was heaven Pain de chocolat, s'il vous plaît. Un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Oh. Uh, we. It was so surreal for me to have to put on two layers of clothes on me to get out. Just to go for a To walk. do anything. It was surreal, but at the same time, it felt so nice. So in order to get out, I had to put like three blankets on me, <laughs> you know? So I've never skied. Never ever in my life. I'm a bit of an overachiever. I like to be a professional on everything on the second day. Expectation. Reality. You're right, you're right. Never s Not a very healthy way to deal with life, but it's it's just the natural way that comes to me. I remember wanting to be super good. Very first day I was like, I'm gonna fucking nail this. And you were trying to teach me, and I was just really trying to get it together. And I remember like my ankle got slightly twisted, and I was like, I'm gonna break the leg. <laughs> I was fucking impressed. You did really well. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you're a very good teacher at all. So I was kind of going, yeah, just go. You just, just kind of move your feet. And you were like, what? I don't know what I'm doing. Kind of move your feet. But you did, within a day, you were like killing it. And I think if you did it for a week straight, you'd be pretty good. I think the third or fourth day, Matt was like, okay, let's just go up. You know, we can go up in the mountain and I can show you like the highest point. We can have fun, it'd be so nice. And I was like, yeah, it's cool. Cause I don't have to like impress anyone. I don't have to ski. I just have to use my freaking legs. I've been doing since I was born, so I can clearly do that. Legs are very useful to walk on. Oh yes, they're very useful. Oh yes, look at my legs. Do you like them? I walk away now. As we were about to just completely finish our day, Matt is like, ooh, look at that trail. And I'm like, ooh, what's with it? And you're like, <laughs> do you ooh. want to explain it? <laughs> <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> you were like, ooh. There's two ski lifts, number one, number two. You can walk between them in the summer and the winter too. It's a really easy walk. It's like two hours long. It's flat for the most part. It had snowed an awful lot the night before. But the problem was, is the trail that people usually walked on had been snowed over. So I didn't really know where the trail was. I couldn't remember by memory exactly where it was, but I just knew the general direction of the other lift. You, you have no idea. This whole situation seems a bit dangerous to me. You should have stayed at home and eaten a croissant. Ma! It'll be fine. I don't know. I do know. You don't know. You had no idea. That, you just threw me into danger. That's what happened. That, so you went in all cocky trying to impress whoever you were trying to impress. It got to the point where I was just so exhausted because I also was on my period. Okay. And I was like... Yeah, I'm not having this anymore. It got to the point where it wasn't a flat path anymore. It was like tiny hills that you had to sort of like get with your hands. Just as snow dust like sort of absorbs you in. It got to the point where I was like, I can't be asked. And I was like, Matt, are you sure that we were going the right way? When we couldn't see the start, nor the end, it was just completely white all over. We saw this like flat piece of land. And Matt was like, oh, that's the lake. I've seen that lake in the spring, so nice. And I was like, okay, so what do we do? Because there's no trail in here. Man. And he was like, let's just try to go around it and go the other way. But then what happens is that because you can't separate, you can't differentiate where the lake is and where the land is, we were walking on the side without actually knowing that we were walking on the fucking lake. We were walking on the lake. I've seen enough films to know that that's dangerous. All this time we could have easily turned around, but that would have been dependent on me admitting that I was lost. I don't get lost. 
fucking... I don't get lost. You don't ever get lost. Nah. You never do anything nah. bad. Nah. You were 100% lost. I was lost. After an hour of wading through thick snow, aimlessly wandering towards the general direction of the other ski lift, I decided to turn around and tell Candela. Are you serious? To be, it wasn't a, like a large distance to get back where we came from, but the problem was we'd gone down a hill. So getting back up the hill in the deep snow proved to be a lot more challenging than I had uh, previously anticipated. It was hard work and it got to the point where I was just like, I'm gonna faint. I was so tired. And I remember going up and like my legs were not <coughs> responding well. My legs were not working the way they should. When your legs don't work like they used to before and I can't sweep you off of your feet, will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will Matthew was just so sort of cheerleading me. Hey, you can do it, come on, you're so cool. I was kind of scared because you felt like you were gonna pass out. Because if you stop and have a rest, it's so hard to keep going because you're just gonna get really cold. <sighs> you don't want to be fucking around with like, being up the mountain in the because it's that seems, is the dangerous bit though, isn't it? Yeah, it seems really nice with the sun and it's not snowy and it's like at night it must be grim, it must be so yeah, fucking so cold. Cold, it's just there is no way you're surviving that. If you decided, which you do usually, if you don't like something, often you just go, I'm not doing this, fuck this, right? But I was like, if she does this now, if you do this now, then we're gonna be in a real fucking pickle. Because I'm going to have to either leave you here and go and get someone, which I really would have been really dangerous, or I'm going to have to fucking carry you up the hill like Sam and Frodo. I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you. Come on! Which I can't fucking do. I remember shouting at you. I remember being like, look, you can't fucking stop. You've got to do this. You've got to get up the hill. Don't think about it. I'm Just like, I can't do it. I was full and crawling. Yes, I was pissed off, crawling, and really missing some croissants. After a very stressful half an hour, a lot of crying, finally got back up the snowy hill to the original ski lift, less than 20 minutes before it was supposed to close. Tell you what, the hot chocolate at the bottom of the lift was very good. Things taste nicer when they're worth more. You miss it so much, and when you have it, it's like, mm -hmm. this is the best hot chocolate. I've ever tasted. It makes you want to go back? Does it make you want to do more walks like that? Uh, I mean, I could do it with a walk now. Yeah? Yes. Should we go for a walk? Maybe. You, you, what is it? <laughs> Actually, you can't go for a walk because of COVID-19 and the UK lockdown. I can go for a walk though. Look at my legs. These boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do one of these days. These boots